So I've been making up stories in my head since I can remember, which goes back to when I was about four. At school, I was always the weird girl who spent the whole recess time swinging on the swings. But what I was actually doing was playing out these narratives in my head with characters and situations that I'd created. In the early years of elementary school, I struggled with reading and writing and therefore didn't care much for them. So I never thought about wanting to be a writer. But then in third grade, we did something called writing workshop, where for a block of class time, we would all sit down and write stories. It finally occurred to me that I could write down the stories in my head. And at that moment, in my humble opinion anyway, that was when I became a writer. Writing workshop continued all throughout elementary school, and it was my favorite thing ever. I remember one time in fourth grade, the whole class got in trouble for goofing around during writing workshop time, so our teacher made everyone stay in for recess and write during that time. Best recess ever! In middle school, we no longer had writing workshop, but I was not done writing. I was addicted. So I carried around loose leaf paper everywhere I went and just wrote and wrote and wrote. Sometimes I even got in trouble for writing during class when I was supposed to be learning something else. Oops. But after losing all my papers way too many times, I finally wised up in high school and started carrying around these five subject spiral notebooks. This. This one. I would literally carry these things around everywhere. School, church, long car rides, summer camps funerals. You name it. And I'd fill them up with stories. Just having a ball with it. I'd crack myself up with my own words and my awesome characters. And I'd listen to the Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears and Linkin Park, just writing my guts out and loving my life and dreaming of one day seeing my words in print. And then my bubble burst. See, in school, whenever we had creative writing assignments, I'd get so excited and I'd write these 10 page crazy stories that my teachers complimented me on. So in my mind, I was a brilliant writer. I wanted to share my stories with the world. Then I discovered writing.com and started typing up my stories and publishing them online. That was when I had the worst reality check of my life. At the age of 15, I received my first ever criticism, and it was brutal. This person just ripped one of my stories apart, pointing out every single flaw, which I admit there were many. I was absolutely crushed, devastated. I had a complete identity crisis. The only thing I ever wanted to do with my life was be a writer, and people had only ever told me I was great at it. Writing was my thing. It was the one thing I was best at. And this person told me I sucked? Did I suck? My friends all tried to assure me that this person had to be crazy. They were just a hater. But it changed something in me. When I finally stopped moping around and I got over myself, I decided I was going to be a writer, and a good one. I just had to learn what it meant to be a good writer. So here's what I did. I started reading all of these great books about plot and characterization and style and how to edit. These books taught me all the basics of writing and the important secrets I never would have known if I hadn't sought after them. I started paying close attention to the books I love to read and what made them so great in my eyes. Dynamic characters, heart-stopping drama, those little moments that just stayed with me long after I finished the book, and of course, clean, beautiful prose. And I kept writing, striving to get better and better. As you can see, I still have my old notebooks. This one is pretty beat up, but it is 11 years old. I keep them to read them for fun sometimes, just to encourage myself and how much I've improved. And I gotta tell you, 
these stories are terrible. <laughs> They're so bad. I mean, they'll always be special to me because they were a huge part of my life. But they're filled with Mary Sue characters. If you don't know what that is, look it up. There's plenty of information about it online. And rambling, horrifically repetitive chapters that don't go anywhere. Cliches and very little plot. And I just shake my head and go, Woo, buddy. But as grateful as I am about how much I've improved, I have to admit... I miss these days. I miss being able to just thoroughly enjoy myself as I write without once stopping to think about whether it's any good or not. Nowadays when I write, I agonize over every little word, even during rough drafts. Writing's still a huge part of me. It's my greatest passion and purpose. But if I'm being 100% honest with you, it's not as fun as it used to be. Now, it's a lot more like work when it used to be all play. So that's just what I've been thinking about lately. I want that feeling back. I want to be able to just pour myself out on a page again without being overly critical about what I'm putting down. I know enough about rules and mechanics to be able to edit it afterwards, but I just want to be able to turn that critical voice off when I'm creating. You know, the voice that whispers, that's the wrong word. That's stupid. You're using was way too many times. You've got to be active instead of passive. That's too many adverbs. That's cheesy. That's trite. This is not working. If those things are true, I can get to them later. But when I'm writing, I just want to feel joy. Not doubt. Not frustration. I want to feel like I did before I knew any better. So, during this year's NaNoWriMo, I've been trying to encourage myself to do just that. It's difficult to completely shut out my self-criticism, but for the most part, it's been working. The other night, I wrote 5,000 words in one go, barely noticing the time passing by and enjoying myself. Were those 5,000 words any good? I don't know, probably not, but at this point, that doesn't matter. What matters is getting the story out in the first place. Beautiful prose comes with a careful eye and lots of revision. You use a whole different part of your brain for that than you use for creating. So along with encouraging myself, I want to encourage all of you, writers out there, to have fun, write courageously, without getting in your own way. Get the story on the page. Fall in love with writing all over again. That's what I want to do. Because let's face it, if you aren't enjoying yourself, why would you want to put yourself through this in the first place?